The Research and Evaluation Center at John Jay College is studying the cure violence model of violence reduction. We're using an innovative data collection technique called Respondent Driven Sampling in which we interview young men between the ages of 18 and 30 and ask them questions about violence. They then refer three of their friends to us, those people refer three of their friends, and very quickly we survey up to 200 young men in each neighborhood. So we use the term NYC Cure because it has that public health uh, quality about it. Both of the studies were interviewing males between the ages of 18 and 30 who live in various boroughs around New York City and focused on neighborhoods where there have been a lot of shootings, a lot of violence in recent years. Uh, and we go into the neighborhoods and ask them a battery of questions about their perceptions of their own safety, their attitudes toward police and other public institutions their attitudes toward violence and when they could be using violence themselves in a personal confrontation. Uh, and the theory is that if we implement these programs well, thoroughly and with fidelity, that we might be able to see a change in attitudes among those 18 to 30 year old men. The reason why we decided to use Quick Tap Survey is because it makes it really easy for the interviewers to have access to a tool that um, will avoid a lot of the usual self-reporting um, data errors. You avoid bringing a lot of paperwork into the field. You, um, um, the tablet is ready for you at your fingertips all the time. Another thing that is really good is that the participant gets to interact with the survey rather than the person just filling out every box or filling out words into a paper survey. So another thing that Quick Tap Survey allows you to do is to create different types of questions, right? So you can have uh, multiple choice questions and show in different, different squares, or it allows you to have a slider option. So when you create scales, usually, the usual from like zero to 10, how much, how well do you agree, or how much you agree with the statement, then you can slide the bar and the participant gets to choose what their answer is. So it gives them the opportunity to have some sense of privacy because the interviewer can easily turn the tablet around and they can choose their answer without the interviewer looking at what the participant has answered. That's another benefit too. For this study in particular, we are going to different neighborhoods all throughout the city. There's a section in the survey called Exposure to the Program where we show them pictures of a specific program in the neighborhood. And um, we can take pictures of their logos and their public education materials and also pictures of the staff to see if they recognize them. And we can change the, the, that part of the survey, so the media part of the survey, per, and we can tailor it per site, right? Because we are using respondent-driven sampling, we needed to scan the coupon that they come in with, and on the coupon um, included a QR code. And so the, the application is able to scan the QR code and gives us a live, a live feedback on what that number is, and that way we know which, which participant is connected to the referral. Well, RDS stands for Respondent Driven Sampling, and it's a methodology, a method of recruiting people. Actually, it's a, a chain referral system where people refer their friends who are like themselves to the study. So in the current study, we're interested in young men between the age of 18 and 30. He is interviewed, is given three coupons that are numbered, and uh, he gives those to his three friends. In the, the three friends, when they come in, the seed is rewarded with $10 for each one that comes.